Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Edwin Education Digitization Series. My name is Benedicta, and I will be your host for today. While we are waiting for participants to come in, I would like to say thank you for joining us, and I hope you are having a wonderful Children's Day today. So we're going to start with an introductory video on Edfin and MFB. So Ashwaya, please, could you share the video with us? Ashwai, please, the video. Sorry? Please, the video. Sorry. Can you not see my screen? Hello? No, we can't. Okay, let me share it again. Okay, thank you. Can you see the video? Yes. And, and. Nigeria is one of the fastest growing cities in the world today. The city's educational system, like that of the entire country, is struggling to keep pace with the burgeoning population. Over 18,000 private schools have opened to fill this void. Over the last decade, the global number of out-of-school children has continued to decline. But while the world is making a remarkable decrease, one in every five of the world's out-of-school children is in Nigeria. The government has come up with various initiatives to tackle these challenges. Similarly, school leaders, education boards, government agencies, and private sector organizations are also committed to solving this issue. In addition to the various efforts being carried out by key stakeholders, Edfin Microfinance Bank is deliberately making efforts to make an impact in the education sector to enable education for the future. About 13.2 million of the country's children aged 5 to 14 are out of school. The education sector in Nigeria is beset with major challenges such as poor infrastructure, paucity of quality teachers, limited teaching aids, insufficient libraries, laboratories, and computers. These problems continue due to a lack of appropriate funding, despite the efforts of the private sector. The continuous rise of Nigerian schooling abroad shows there is more room for improvement. We need to start enabling education for the future by increasing access to finance so that there is increased investment in education to increase access and quality of education for the growing population. Nigeria's youth illiteracy has increased from 5.19 million in 1991 to 9.43 million in 2015. 
growing at an average annual rate of 24.32%. FP Microfinance Bank provides financial services to the education ecosystem. We say that we provide financial services in such a way that it enables the realization of human potential. In Edfin, we believe that if we provide educational support, which is what we call our value-added services, together with financial services, that would lead to improved learning outcomes in schools. Schools will grow faster. They will to recruit more people. They will to provide better learning opportunities and open the minds of our young generation so that they truly can make this country um, great as we expect. As part of the solution to provide adequate funding, the first specialized education microfinance bank is here. Edfin Microfinance Bank, enabling education for the future. Thank you for the video, Ashwaya. I know some of you have joined today to know more about FPIN Microfinance Bank. So in a nutshell, FPIN Microfinance Bank is Nigeria's first education specialized microfinance bank. And we provide financial services, support, and resources to all stakeholders in the education ecosystem. So today, we are going to be learning about school management systems and how they can help us run our school better. So um, we have with us Jitendra Sharma. He is going to facilitate the workshop and he's going to tell us more about Edfina Excel school management system. Jitendra Sharma is the product manager of River Corporation. He has over eight years experience in operations, end-to-end -end business analysis, product management in IT, education, government, and PSU industries. You're welcome, Jitendra. Thank you for joining us today. We also have with us Ashwaya Satana. Ashwaya Hello. is the Chief Technology Officer at Global Education Finance Company. GFC Ashwaya is a veteran in the education system. He has vast experience in advising schools on matters concerning education technology. Thank you for joining us, Ashwaya. Hi, thank you. Okay, so we are going to learn today how to set up a school management system. I'm sure some of us think, I've been running my school well for years. Why do I need a school management system? I believe at the end of this workshop, we would learn why we need a school management system. And I'm eager to learn. I hope you're eager to learn as well. So we are going to start with a video on school management system, which Ashwaya will play for us. So Ashwaya, please. Yes. Yes. Benedita, your mic is on mute, please. So sorry about that. We also have with us a special lady who just spoke, Mrs. Ade Dayadewale, the head commercial, micro, FA Microfinance Bank. Thank you for joining us today. It's a pleasure to have you, you in our Thank you. So I 
The purpose of this workshop today is to answer questions such as, why do I need a, a school management system in my school? And we're going to kick off the session by listening to Ashwaya, who's going to tell us about school management system for education. So he's going to put us through that and we're going to learn why we need it in our schools. Ashwaya, over to you, please. Thank you, Benedicta. I'm sharing the screen again. Okay. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, we can. Yes, yes, we can see your screen. Yes, we can. All right, I'm just trying to, uh, yes. Can you see the, can you see it as full screen? So uh, thank you everyone for uh, joining us today. Uh, we from uh, uh, Edfina uh, are providing a simplified school management system. These are various technology interventions that you need uh, more so in the times like today uh, to run the school better and run it more easily. Uh, I have a small presentation and this would then after this we will follow it with a demo which will give you more insights into what the solution is about. So uh, we offer uh, four different products. Uh, they help you in a variety of things. Uh, there is an online admissions uh, product. So uh, as you, uh, as uh, during COVID, you will find a lot of uh, parents would be looking for new schools because they are uh, looking for opportunities to have a, a school with better fees or school which provides better online services. So um, use this opportunity to make uh, admissions easier. Uh, we also have uh, Edfina Fee Collect, which is a fee management solution, which allows you to capture all kind of fee structures, uh, communicate with the uh, parents on the fee, uh, collect fee, do the reconciliation, have all the uh, reports and dashboards uh, on your tips. We have an end-to-end -end school management system, uh, which is available only at 1249 uh, Naira per student per term. Uh, and we also have a, a learning management system, which is also available at only 249 Naira. Uh, this this uh, through uh, Edfin Microfinance Bank, uh, we are offering as an introductory offer. So uh, as an introductory offer, you can pay for one term and can get uh, two terms free. And this, this is an offer which we are giving to our first 50 schools. Uh, also, for those schools who join after that, we will still have, uh, they can pay for one term and get one term free and that offer will continue till 31st of July. Uh, what I'm going to do is rather than explaining the, uh, the uh, application on the presentation, we'll go to a demo. Uh, but before we get to the demo, I have a, a small question for all of you. Uh, uh, please uh, uh, answer and let us know uh, what you think is the most uh, challenging uh, in your school. So as, as we can see, uh, fee management uh, is, is one of the biggest problems uh, that uh, these schools have. Uh, it's coming out very uh, clearly with uh, more than 70% of um, uh, these schools uh, highlighting that uh, as a key problem. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and now I'm handing over to Jitendra to take us through the uh, solution. 
Thank you so much, Ashwarya. I think I, I couldn't uh, participate in this poll because I am the part of this panel, else I would have ticked all the fours. I'll quickly share my screen. So are you able to see my screen? Yes. Yes, we are. Yes. Um, Ashura, I want you to please uh, let go this website so that you know, then okay, I'll, I'll take over. Yes. Uh, so this is uh, Edfina website. Uh, we are uh, uh, the uh, parent company to Edfin Microfinance Bank. Uh, and uh, uh, Edfina is present, uh, uh, apart from Nigeria, it is also present in India and in Pakistan. Uh, we also provide a variety of other services uh, and uh, school management is one of the uh, technology interventions that we have come up primarily in this environment where schools need a lot of help to come online and start teaching online and also manage themselves in, in, a, in a very different manner in, a, in, in today's situation. So you see at FINA website and um, about um, at FINA School Excel, um, you can click on uh, no more uh, or yeah, on School Excel on top. So uh, like we said, uh, we, we are offering these four services. Uh, you can sign up by coming on to the uh, uh, website and uh, you can click on sign up uh, option here. So by clicking on sign up option, you will get a simple form where you have to fill basic information of your school and then obviously the admin so that you can log in, logged in by using the credential. By filling this simple form, you have to just tick for which services you are looking for. And once the form is filled, your institute registration is completed and will send you the login credential along with the link, login link. So it's a simple process. This will be the login link for you and for your students and parents. No matter what would be the role, this particular screen is same for all the roles, whether you are from school side or you are a parent or you are a student. So yeah, by... And at any point in time, please feel free to ask uh, questions in Q&A and we will try to answer as many as uh, possible during the session or we will try to reply to you. So we, we would request you to please be proactive, please be engaged with us, please ask questions so that we would be able to cover maximum of your queries. So like I was saying, this will be the single login screen for all of the roles. You can log in directly by login credentials or you can log in by OTP with your registered mobile number. I'll let you through with one of the demo admin accounts. So there are two hierarchies. One is obviously the main hierarchy, the owner or the promoter or the directors of the schools, the upper management part. So the idea to have this hierarchy so that they can view if they are having multiple campuses, they can track all of their campuses or all of their branches from a single place. As you can see on this screen, they can see the entire financial financial things, whether what should be the amount to be collected, what is the amount due. This amount terms here is referred for fee. So what should be the fee that about to come, what is pending, what is overdue. Similarly, you can see the student strength of all your campuses. You know, what are the strength? How many are new? How many are old? How many are, you know, have left the schools? Similarly, on the right hand side, you can see the fee collection of last seven working okay. days. Okay, he's back. So you can see the fee collection of last seven working days so that you can plan your activity and your expenses accordingly. So this is very important information to have on the fingertip of the owner or promoter of any particular school. Obviously, you can see the attendance like these graphs. 
at any point of time, if you want to switch to any of the branches, you can just switch to any of the branch by just click like this. Right? So it's simple. And this system gives power to the owners or to the promoters of the school or the institute to have to track everything from a bird, bird eye view, which is a missing link now. Any point of time, I'll switch, as you can see. And the screen you are looking at is the second hierarchy. That means for principals, admin, or campus level. So a particular campus, the admin of a particular campus, or the principal or the head of the particular branch will be landed on this page. As you can see, the dashboard is designed keeping your user experience in mind so that you don't have to go through each of the modules to do your daily activities. You can track all the financial activities from the dashboard itself, your academic calendar, your notice board, appointments, broadcast messages, your staff details, and every information on the dashboard is clickable so that you can go through by just clicking the information. As I've clicked on the feed view, it will show me the list. So I have the list of the students for those fees pending. Or staff, when I click on teacher, the system will directly land me to the page where I can see the listing of teachers. Or I want to collect a fee on the dashboard itself. I can just put this caller number, roll number, name of any of the students and it will directly land me the fee collection page like this. So very simple, very user friendly. Apart from this, establishing or the onboarding of every new school is very easy, very simple and very intuitive. For example, we have created masters so that this particular system is flexible and customized as per your need. Whatever session, class, subjects you want to enter, you can enter. But the best part is that this system will be preloaded with all your needs so that you don't have to do this manually. But any point of time, if you want to add more or edit any preloaded things, you can get back to, you can go back to master and edit the things like this. For example, I click on subjects, you can see arts, computer science, dance, English, environment, study, French, games, whatever. There are multiple subjects. You can add your own or edit or delete any of the as per your own requirement. This is completely flexible. Like this, you know, this is very crucial and it was, uh, you know, we all were expecting that the fee would be the biggest problem of uh, all the education institute, not only in Nigeria, but all over the world. So our system comes with a very unique and very user friendly fee module where you guys are absolutely flexible to create your own fee components. For example, admission fee, registration fee, tuition fee, picnic fee, midday meal, computer fee, whatever component, whatever the terminology you want to use, you add it. Then you are free to create free structure. Free structure means it's up to you for which class, what should be the fee, for example, class second, admission fee is this, annual charges is this, caution money deposit is this, tuition fee is this. In how many installments you are looking for, whether you want to collect fee in single shot or multiple installments monthly, quarterly, after every two months. So it's completely up to you on which date, on which month you want to collect the fee. Obviously, the particular system is capable to collect free from multiple sources like cash, check, online digital mediums, like bank receipts or anything uh, you can name off. But the best part, it can reconcile easily, which is the biggest problem we are facing as a school. 
reconciliation of this multiple sources of the collection of fee would be really easy by the system system will itself gives you reports multiple reports like daily collection report d report accurate amount reports fee due bill adjusted amount refund amount so many reports customized report if if you feel that particular report is not what you are looking for we are always ready to create new reports as per your requirement system is capable of doing that also apart from this you can create your own fee rules you can create your own concession rule so if siblings are studying in a school you can give 5% discount if there is a parent who is ready to pay fee of the of the whole year at once you can give them 10% instant discount so system has the capability to manage those discounts obviously that can be customized by you apart from this system has the capability of automatically fee collection from other fee for example late fee if you are looking to take late fee system can calculate automatic late fee based on the duration you want it daily monthly or whatever the frequency you want to collect a late fee for example check bounce fee day care mid day meal miscellaneous fee so very detailed fee component you can create your own structure you can collect fee from various ways easy reconciliation your own fee rules and mandatory apart from mandatory fee you can collect few optional fees like few of the examples you can see on your screen this is very unique and the most important part that a particular parent can have a login where they can track and they can see that okay the fee of my ward is pending there will be automatically reminders for fee due and they can pay fee by using any digital medium they want like we do on e-commerce websites so once the master is being set up which we already give you you can import a student easily so there are three options to import a student one as you can see a student import directly via excel you can just put all the detail of your students into the excel and upload at once second direct booking you know rather filling the physical form you can put the information into the system of the direct booking students best part you can collect the fee from here only like this if not you can waive off this fee put the remark and save so the particular student will be registered into the system and the third one and the most reported part is the online registration i'll show you one of the school's website as you can see this is one of our school who is using ruwa or at finas platform as you can see there is a tab of online registration so we can add this button on your desired website if you have if you don't have any website please come back to us we are more than happy to create a website for you also so once you click on this online registration button or add an online admission button it will ask you for which of the campuses you are looking for the admission if you are having multiple campuses if not it will directly land to the school registration page you are fully free to customize this instructions this header footer logo everything will be customized as per your own need apart from this logo and header and footer you can also customize the terminology and heading of the form if you don't want there is a very unique option of preference also so if you are having multiple campuses you can ask for preferences from the students or parents if they already have a sibling in your school they don't have to fill the form entirely they'll just click on sibling put the scholar number and the rest of the form will be filled automatically based on the data we already have in our system once the form is being filled parent can pay fee de decided by you 
by any of the digital medium using our payment gateway paystack so we have integrated paystack one of the nigeria's best and biggest payment gateway with our system by using paystack parent can pay fee online once the fee is being paid a particular institute has the permission or has the flexibility to schedule an exam or interview before taking final admission and the best part i come again on this on this online register tab when you click search you will have the entire listing of registration how many students have registered they paid or not approved exam is scheduled or not you can take multiple action you can reject any of the admission you can approve based on your own process you any time if you required you can import this report through pdf or excel so like this this system will resolve your query or your issue of fee or online admission once the admission is done you can generate id cards from the system itself if not id cards there are, there are many certificate that system can generate like transfer certificate tuition fee tax student health card any of the certificate flexibly customized for your need then there is communication you can send sms emails whatsapp voice sms anything you want to the parents so this system will solve the ever ever challenging you know issue of seamless communication between parent and school so you can send the communication by two ways one is automatic and second one is manual automatic means once the attendance is marked in the system and the and the child is absent an automatically sms will be sent to the registered mobile number of parent that your ward is absent today so isn't it beautiful as a parent i would love to know whether my child is reached or not apart from this you can send a manual sms also for example you want to conduct a parent teacher meet for a particular class only or a particular student only you can send customize sms to that particular child only our communication module come with come with a preloaded tem message templates which you can edit any point of time if required and add new template if you want this is trigger based mechanism so that you won't have to do it individually it will automatically for example you want to send a messages to those students whose fee is pending right so you don't have to put names manually system will automatically search within the system that for whom the fee pending and then it will automatically use the trigger and send sms to those only you don't have to do anything and select individual child so once the communication is completed the most important thing is academics you can create your own timetable you can mark attendance daily or bulk leave application parent can apply for leave from their login and same will come as a request to the class teacher or the desired uh, hierarchy person you can approve or reject you can create your own academic calendar and that is to different for staff and students because there are days when staff has to come but you know students are not you can create your own syllabus you can assign assignments class work or homework to the students which they can access by their login and the most important thing is online learning you can create your own content by using these things you can upload a video you can put any url like youtube or any of the external link you want you can upload image or use any external link you can assign task you can take references not this you can map this with the syllabus in the curriculum so that like we all are struggling with in the covid situation you can continue your e schooling because the system can have a different timetable for online learning so suppose our child is studying mathematics from morning 8 am to 9 am in the school they can continue studying it 
from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. the same mathematics, the same lecture by the same teacher at their home and safely too. If you are using the content from any of the publication house or any of the publisher, you can add a publisher and select here so that you won't get trouble, you know, legal trouble. So we kept in mind that thing also. So you can obviously take live classes apart from this. So we, we kind of take uh, this system as a hybrid system where you can continue your classes and push your content like you are doing in the school and you can take live classes, for example, via Zoom or via any of the online medium. So system has the capability to replace what we are doing, like we are using WhatsApp, Zoom, YouTube, or whatever. You can do everything from this platform itself. This will give you security and will save you from the insecurity. Like if your child is having a mobile, they, they may access some unwanted thing, which as a parent, we want, don't want them to access. So they can just log in into this platform and, and see what a particular teacher want them to see. So once everything is related to academics is done, a particular school can plan their own examinations. They can create their exam. They can assign marks to, a, for example, for English, the question paper will be of 50 marks. For science, the question will be of 50 marks, where 40 is for oral or theory and 10 is for practical. You can create your exam timetable, instructions, and the most important part of the platform, you can create co-scholastics examinations also. For example, sports, arts, painting, which is also very important part of education nowadays. Once the examination has been taken care of, you can put marks by two ways. One, directly import marks via Excel, and second, individual teacher can input the marks manually. We, we keep a uh, maker and checker concept so that a wrong mark entry won't be entertained. So once the marks is been, you know, put it in the system, system will automatically generate the mark sheet. Again, this is very important to have our data with us only. We don't have to go to any third party in the market to generate the mark sheet. System will automatically generate the mark sheet and every rule and grading system or designing of the mark sheet is up to us. Then academic performance, you can see the performance student-wise, subject-wise, section-wise comparison. How a student A is performing against the class. Once the academics and examination is done, the system has beautiful HRMS, human resource management system which is again a nightmare to manage for a particular school. You can create your role. Here role means institute admin, branch admin, student, parent, front office, teacher, principal, driver, anything you want. There are preloaded, but you can anytime add it and add like other modules. Then you can give permissions. This is very important for any technology. You can assign permission to any of the role, what they can do within the platform. And this permission is further divided into subcategories like who can add the things, who can see, who can delete and who can update, which is very important. So once the permission is being said, you can create the salary structure for individual. Then you can see the complete profile of every staff like photograph designation reporting to whom personal detail family detail qualification past experience salary sleep leave balance so while leave balance a particular employee can log in and apply for leave from their particular console and same will come as a request to the hierarchy Then obviously attendance management for the staff also, like we see for the students here. Then leave management, employees can apply leave, leave balance, leave history, and then you can proceed salary from the system itself. So the entire management of your uh, 
stuff can be done from the system itself. Then expenses. You can create your own vendors. For example, ABC publication house for books, for fuel, for milk, for sanitizer, for anything. You can create your own vendor. You can create your own expense heads like for furniture, for books, for uniforms. And then you can create vouchers so that in even a single Naira won't go anywhere without your permission. You can track each and everything. Then obviously, bookstore, so that you can sell your book and uniforms from your system itself. This particular system is designed like a normal e-commerce platform so that you can, you can generate purchase order as you can see. You can create packages, you can plan discounts, stock inward and outward. You can transfer stock from one branch to another if you have multiple campuses. And then you can sell if you want. There is a store collection where you can see how many goods you have sold today or as per your desired date range. Then a very detailed and comprehensive transport module where you can add your vehicle, you can create pickup points for the students and routes. You can maintain all the documents like fuel entry, pollution certificate, insurance, road tax, fitness certificate. The system will give you automatic reminder that your bus A, insurance of bus A is going to expire. Please renew. So the system has the capability for automatic reminder from these things also. And then a variety of report where individual student report, a particular vehicle report, or a route report that how many kilometers this particular bus is being running. So that you can easily track that the route is of 25 kilometers. But since last few days, the driver is taken this bus for, uh, let's say 30 kilometers so that you can ask why five kilometers more. So this is very important to track because we, you know, by the case study, we found that there are thousands, thousands of Naira are wasting. So we can, you know, as a school owner, as, a organi as an organization, we can track record. So guys, I have almost covered the institute part. If you have any question, please let me know before going to parent section. Uh, yeah, please, everybody, you can uh, leave your questions in Q&A section. Uh, Jitendra, we can move to the other part. Sure. I tried to log in with one of the parents. So before going to parent section, I'll show you something which is linked to the parent. I'll click on student, search student. By using any of the filters, I can search a student. I click on the any of the student. So I'll be landed on the student profile. So this is the student profile where we can cap all the student data at one place. As you can see on the left hand side, photograph of the student, status, she is old or new, joined on which date, in which class she is studying, parent detail, mother, father, sibling, we can add sibling, or the very important and unique feature, we can add guardian also. So suppose our child is, you know, is studying in another city with uncle so the uncle of that child should be track everything so system has the capability to assign that uh, a particular uh, person as a guardian so that they will have their own login and credentials and they can track the daily activity of that particular student apart from mother and father obviously as you can see personal detail address medical history emergency contact number academic details like subjects, performance, attendance, fee related details, documents. So they can upload any document they want, any certificate, communication history, like what are the appointments, how many uh, you know, uh, calls have been made or SMS have been sent to the parent. 
why i'm showing you because this is very important and the same profile can be visible to the parents also obviously you can uncheck any point of time if you want the parent that they should not see the th these things i'll try to log in with a parent section so i've logged in with a parent login as you can see there are two ch children so i can select for which profile i am looking for i'll select on this so you can see this is very simple to manage multiple children by a single login as a parent this is very helpful for me i don't have to manage multiple accounts for all my children i can manage via single login any point of time if i want i can go to here and switch profile it will again ask me boom i'm on the son's profile switch profile uh, this sorry your screen is not shared now oh uh, i'm sorry. i'll do it quickly yeah is it visible now yes, yes. yeah sorry all so i was saying that as you can see there are two children so as a parent it is very important to track all the children by a single profile only i don't have to manage multiple login credentials for all my children i can click anyone and the system will land me to the dashboard of that particular child any point of time if i want to switch i can click here go to switch profile and then again i can select the other one so this is very important and very unique to have a single login for all the children so on the like dashboard you can see as a parent how important for me to see the attendance of my child the performance of my child class wise subject wise exam wise where my child is standing academic calendar so that i can plan my activities on which date my child is absent on which date they are present upcoming examinations documents uploaded any mailbox information time table class work homework parent profile so much which as a parent i would i would love to and i would pay for to see again parent can can pay the fee online like i we saw there like i can click on any of the uh, installment i want as you can see i can pay from here from academics i can track attendance assignment subjects everything from performance i can see the exam wise performance of my child from communication i can apply for leave as a parent and i can see the detail of leaves i have applied already and the most important thing parent can apply for appointment even so that particular institute or school can avoid unwanted walk in parent can ask for time slot to come to meet to the class teacher subject teacher principal or any of the staff and the most important part they can edit any of the information related to their personal profile like address email id mobile number if they want and school have to just approve that so this will resolve the entire gap between school and parent this will give you uh, parent parents will have a more transparent view of their child academics their child activity and eventually this will help you to increase your admissions and to manage your school in a better way 
so that's the end from my side uh jitendra can you show yes. online learning from parent side yeah sure sure i am sorry this is very important nowadays you know because because of covid situation i'll show you online learning as you can see i'll click on online learning the system will easily tell me subject wise content so as a parent i don't have to go anywhere and search for example i want to learn you know there is something i can see with related to mathematics or i can see with related to english i can click on mathematics so based on the topic and syllabus i can see any of the content like this and as a parent this is very important to control the activities so as a child i cannot go beyond this screen i cannot see any other video from youtube apart from this what have teacher shared with me there are pdfs references as you can see task which is submitted this whatever teacher want to assign can assign and simple in a simple secured environment a child can learn i like the other online lms module where you know they have the ocean they have to search what they want to learn by their own mind and thought but here by using this platform you can continue your e schooling where teacher will publish the content they want to teach or student will learn or will see the same content so i think i have completed and i would love to see if any questions we have ashwari you want me anything else no i think this is fine maybe you can unshare your screen and i can share sure. the presentation again okay so uh, i see i see a few questions relating to uh, the uh, the price of the solution so uh, the solution has four products uh, there is uh, admission so for online admissions we are charging 699 per student admission uh, for the whole fee management service we are charging 249 uh, naira per student term uh this includes uh, all the uh, uh fee structure setup student setup communication uh, and fee collection using uh, online uh, payment gateway you get access to all reports uh if you collect fee uh, uh within uh, your school also you can uh, use it for all reconciliation and uh, reporting if you take the complete end to end at fina school management system we charge uh, 1249 naira per student term and uh, if you only take uh, edfina lms the learning management system we only charge 249 per student term uh, of course the charges for uh, payment gateway and communications are separate uh, for the uh, uh, as an introductory offer uh, uh, we are offering uh, to first 50 schools we are offering that they pay for one term and they get three terms uh, in effect and uh, for the next schools after the first 50 schools till 31st of july we are offering that if they pay for one term we offer one term for free okay thank you so much tatandra and ashway a few important a few important points to note from Jitendra's presentation are exciting features that you can have once you get the school management system you can manage the student attendance 
academic performance of students, online learning, communication with parents. I know that's a very big issue for our schools. I like the fact, especially, I like the fact that when a child misses the school, it automatically sends a message to the parents to check on the the, the, children, the child from the parents. I also like the fee payment reminder, the automatic fee payment reminder. And some other features I think were very fascinating were the fee reconciliation, the daily collection reports, the fee rules that you can create by yourself, especially, for example, siblings discount. I also like the online student registration, generation of online ID cards and certificates. And the best part of all this is that you can customize the school management system to your preference and satisfaction. So thank you so much, Tatandra. Thank you so much, Ashwaya. Please keep your questions coming. We're going, I'm going to hand over now to Mrs. Adedaya Adewale to take the question and answer section. All right, thank you very much, Benedicta. Thank you, Jitendra, that was splendid. Ashwaya, thank you. Okay, um, actually I have answered one of the questions, but there are a few more questions. For example, someone asked to see a sample of the report sheet. Someone wants to see a sample of the report sheet after the examination, the report sheet that the parent can see. Uh, someone asked to see a sample. Detender, then, can we show a sample? Yes. Yeah, we can. Related report, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. I share my screen. So as you can see, I'll click on fee any of the report, for example, collection report, by using any of the filters, like from scholar numbers, friend name, receipt, session, you can click on search. So based on my search, it will tell, okay, this is the scholar number, installment, check number, amount, gross amount, amount refunded, like this. April, May, June, installment wise reports we can have. I'll click on daily report. The system will ask me to put a range like this. Right. From which source, which, you know, heads. Heads that means if online transaction, cash, check, whatever. So the component wise bifurcation will be here like tuition fee, development fee, annual fee. So this is very important for individual school to have component fee structure so that they can collect, you know, what what, what we got against caution money, what we got against... Uh, Jit, 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 uh, this is not uh, what they're asking for. Uh, reports sheets for the students that shows the class performance of the child. Oh, okay, Something I'm that you can print and give the parents. Also, uh, the parent can print. No, I understand. switch the profile to the previous session. So again, this is very important feature as you can uh, switch to any of the past year if you want. So like this, we can see the class performance obviously in tabular format class first average, class second average, then here you can have a comparison. Like as you can see, section wise comparison, these are three sections. So for English, we have selected class second, we can see, uh, you know, in, in English, the section third, which is tulip is weak. So that as a principal or as an academic uh, in charge, I can get back to the class teacher of third section and ask that ma'am, please concentrate on English. Uh, sorry, uh, we cannot hear you. Please, please. 
put on your mic. Oh, okay. Sorry, I said, what about the student performance? As in, for one student, not for the old school. As in, from a parent's view, I want to see my child's class performance. What did he get in this subject? What did he get in this subject? As you can see this? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so Jitend, do you have a mark sheet? I think they're looking for a mark sheet. Okay. So mark sheet is something, uh, Ashwarya, that a particular school mark sheet we can put here. Yeah. So and they uh, will have their own dedicated format and rules and grading system, which we can adopt. Yeah. So okay. uh, for every school, we can, we can, I mean, you can give us the format, you can give us the uh, yes. If you want to put the logo or certain instructions, we can put that and all the data is there. And as you can see, all the data is present and those can be shown. Okay. All right. So that's the answer to the question. It can be customized, not just the report sheet now. Everything on this can be customized to suit you. That's why you can have your own logo on it. You can... You can, there are a lot of, it's so flexible for you to use. You can add your own subject, check the subject, even the report card. You can say, this is what I want on my report sheet. This is uh, the layout I want and everything. And the system will do that for you. Thank yeah. you very so, much. So, uh, Jitendra, maybe you can just stay with that table and we'll just show that once again. So, uh, a, teach, uh, a parent can see for all the subjects the students marks and also can see the class average they can see how the student is doing as against the class so this is available as a data but if you want to give the report it can be in a format that you like so there is so much more than this but you know uh, they might not relate with the data so you know as per their own customization and need we can have those data and those reports or those formatting within the system Okay, thank you very much, Jitay. Someone also asked if this can be offline or only online. So this is the online only. Why? Because this gives you the freedom. If it is offline, then how parent can see these things? So, you know, to use the maximum functionality to learning management system, online learning, the, these things which this particular scheme, as we can see, this can only be available when the system is on cloud. Yes. Thank you very much, GT. Also, someone would like to know how to, um, for control, in case a parent default in paying school fees, how do you ensure they do not um, enjoy this school management software anymore? Can you please elaborate this question, I mean? Okay, what I mean is, if the school have already set this up and a parent didn't pay school fees, Mm -hmm. you know, and the school wants to stop the parent from viewing. I mean, if you don't pay, then you won't be able to have access to your child's. From the permission uh, itself. As we can see, I'll show you that screen. As you can see in the HRMS, role permission. So there will be parent section also, student section also. So I can uncheck the things if I want them to stop to see anything. So it's up to the school. This is very easy. Okay. So the school can the just go there and stop the parent from being until the parent pays the school fees. Yes, they can. Okay. Thank you very much, Jute. Okay. Uh, well, about customization and set up costs. Someone was asking about that. Then, uh, okay, you talked about websites. A few of the schools said they need websites. They want to know how to go about getting uh, their school website set up. That I think I should have. So if, if the schools are interested in the platform and they also need a website, uh, we can discuss with them their requirements on of the website and that can be provided at a separate charge. Okay, which means that once you want to take on this school management software and you also need the website, while you are uh, making payment for this and doing this, we'll also make arrangements for how you will get your own school website because a lot of things have changed now. The kind of parents we're serving before are no longer the ones we are serving now. Parents that were not tech savvy before, everybody is now handling technology. 
so you cannot be left behind because even your parents are not left behind, okay? Uh, then someone asked a question. Actually, I want you to answer that. The person said, how do you persuade parents for online classes, remote learning? So it's like some parents don't see any need for it. How do you persuade them? So uh, I don't think parents also have a choice and it's important for us to explain that to the parents. Uh, we initially thought the, uh, the, the situation of COVID-19 was a short period. Uh, even in India, it started with just a three-week uh, lockdown. Uh, it's already two months now. Uh, the situation is similar across the world, including in Nigeria. Uh, we do not know for sure how long the situation will last. Uh, and if we do not start online classes, um, the, uh, the, the, the children are not able to study. Uh, if they don't study, uh, they lose uh, the connection with learning. And it has been uh, very well seen across the world uh, that uh, if the students uh, lose connection with, uh, with learning for long, it becomes more difficult. So uh, I think it's, it's, it's more about persuasion from one side and the longer period of uh, uh, COVID-19 kind of makes it important. Uh, the other thing, what the, um, the solution does here is uh, um, it allows you to uh, continue to have communication with the uh, parents. So uh, for those who have not sent out, uh, sent your fees, you can send them communication, but you can also send other SMSs. So if you want to send out messages to parents, uh, you can use the system, you can send out uh, emails, you can send out SMSs, and you can keep in, in communication with them. Now, what happens here is uh, you have a, a clear access to who all have paid, who all have not paid. Uh, you can use that information to send pointed messages to the relevant people. Okay, so another person asks for the cost of the SMS. Is it already part of the fee to pay? Because you know there's a charge for SMS. Um, SMS. So, uh, yeah, so we are in process of uh, integrating with the SMS. The XMS will be charged on actual. Uh, we will share the details of the SMS uh, rate shortly. Okay. All right. Then another person asks if the student can have access to this without the parent's intervention. Of course, I can directly answer that the answer will be no, except the parents now give their own login detail to the child, which we will advise against. But normally it's through a login. So if we do not give the login detail to the child, the child cannot have access to it. Only the parents can, okay? All right, someone was saying that if they have their own website already, how do you help them to integrate the online um, school registration? Oh, so this is, this is simplest. Uh, if you have a website already, you need to uh, create a link on your website, like we had shown for one of the demo sites. Uh, using that link, yeah, so, th so you can see a, a widget on the uh, right which says online registration. You can use that or you can put a menu which says online registration. Uh, and by clicking on it, the uh, parent will be redirected to the site. What we will do is, we will create a link for you and we will give that link to you and you can place it on your website. Okay. Well, about the questions, I think we have answered all the questions. For those that still need a website, we'll get back to you on that. Okay, yes, someone asked how they can customize this to their own setting, now they can customize the management system to their own setting. GT. So uh, there are various ways to customize. Uh, uh, we, uh, you, as you saw, as part of the registration process, you upload your uh, school's logo. The logo will show on top left uh, and uh, it will also show on your um, school registration uh, page. Um, in terms of rest of the uh, customization, uh, what classes you have, what sections you have, what subjects you teach, all of that is uh, master driven. So you can define uh, what is applicable to your school and it gives you flexibility to define the way you like best. 
it all we it also gives you all kinds of templates that you need so for example if you want your mark sheet to look different from all the others you can define set and we will help you set up the mark sheets you can have your school id cards which uh, uh, have your structure and and the system will be able to support all of that okay thank you very much uh, for those that joined late don't worry the video will be on youtube and it will be communicated to you later and we will also give you a login detail later so that you too can um, log in into a demo site and see a test environment so that you can see the functionality and how robust the school management software is, okay? Now, uh, yeah. for so, those that... Uh, so, uh, just one thing, Dayo. Mm -hmm. For those who are interested in accessing uh, the demo uh, environment, maybe can reach out to you. And for each of them, we can create a separate demo. Okay, okay so... If you are interested, please reach out to us, then we'll get back to you on that. Then um, for those that are interested in taking a loan for the remote learning, the loan application form is available already. It will be on our website and also reach out to your relationship officers and they will make sure it's available to you so you can um, fill the loan form and we can take it up from there, all right? Um, I believe the first thing you need to do is to do a form of survey with your parent, encourage them and see how many of them are interested. Then you can now apply for the loan, get the, um, uh, the devices, then you can give it to them. They don't need to tell you, oh, I'm, I'm at work, I'm with my laptop, there's no laptop for my child to use, there's this, all that has been taken care of, or oh, I don't have data, all that has been taken care of in the remote learning device already. So you don't need, to, they don't need, the parents don't need to worry themselves about that anymore. So when you do that, when you meet with them, speak with them, then you can now know how many of them are interested and you know how many devices you need to get, okay? All right, so um, from what I see, uh, we have answered all the questions. Okay. So we have answered all the question, except any other person have any question, you can also ask. This is a very robust system. Um, we just have to upgrade. And you don't need to be afraid that uh, who is going to operate this. I'm not that tech savvy. You can learn it. That's why we are saying, come and bring your teacher's name. Let's teach the teachers how to do some things on the internet, digital learning for teachers, how they can learn some of these things. When you give your teachers opportunity to learn that, then they can help you in setting up things like that. To set it up is not difficult. And that's, uh, that's actually the most difficult part of it, but it's still not difficult. And once you have set it up, you have all the data on the system, the system takes the hassle away from you. It takes the headache away from you. So the setting up the, is so easy. If you get to any point and you are stuck, there's a question mark there. When you click the question mark on the, and you tell, this is what I want to do. It will direct you on to, to how you can do it in a very easy way. It's supposed to be interactive. I mean, it's artificial intelligence. Tell it what you want it to do. It will teach you what to click to get what you are looking for or to get what you want to get done, done. So you see, don't say my school is a small school. Yes, I know of a school in Ikorodu that we actually gave an award at our last program. As small as that school was, in a non-completed building, they have an interactive board. So this is not the moment where you say, I'm just a small school. Yes. That's why we have brought it down to your level. Every child, no matter how small the school is, has to have technology in their hand right now. So that is the deal. Stop saying my school is a small school. Stop saying we are only 70 pupils. No. There are schools doing great things with only 20 pupils. It's just about you, what, 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 what's available. And the bank has gone through a lot of length to put this in place to help you take all your problems away with one click. So please sign on and let's take your problems away, all your headache away. School management software is like your head teacher, your teacher, your school secretary, everything on the system. 
So you don't need to worry yourself. You can make, you can protect your school from fraud. You can really manage the school properly. You can know how much you actually generate because the truth is some of us don't even know how much you generate. It's only what they tell us we make that we make. But with the system now, nobody's teaching you. Nobody's trying to do any funny thing with your school. You can manage your school properly with the school management. So now we are not saying you should sign up for the old system. If you feel that you don't want the old system, you can sign up for only the fee management software at only 250 naira for per child. So you see, we have cost, we have brought it down to your level that anybody you, you cannot not have this. What part of it that you want to have is what you should determine, not that you won't have it at all. So thank you very much. I don't know if um Ashwaya and Jitenda has anything else to say, I'm Benedita. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you yeah. so much. Take care. Um, if you have uh, questions and clarifications, please send us an email on contact us at edfinmfb.com. Contact us at edfinmfb.com. Or you can call us on 0809-454-6334. We'll leave it in the chat section for you to see. We will also be sending the recording of this webinar and a brochure of the school management system solution to you as well. I noticed a comment in the chat section where someone said, this is a loaded management system. Indeed, it is. And I'm, I'm glad that we see that. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, Jitendra. Thank you, Ashwaya. Thank you, Mr. Zadidayo, for taking our time to join us today. And I want to say that let us take, up, let us take advantage of the introductory offer we are given. For the first 50 schools that register, you pay for one term, you get two terms free. And after that, the after 50 schools, you pay for one term, you get one term free. And this offer lasts till July 2020. So please, let's take advantage of this offer before it ends. So we have come to the end of this workshop, and we have also come to the end of the first series of the Edfin Education Digitization Series. It's time to implement all we have learned. And if you want to access our remote learning solution, please fill the form on the FN website. The link is in the chat section. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Thank you, Ashwaya and Jitendra, for the information <laughs> shared. It's been very vital, and we have learned a lot. We appreciate you. So you, from all of us at FN MFB, we say thank, thank you, you, and we say enjoy your day, and we thank say bye-bye. Thank you. Be Thank safe. Thank you very Thank much. You. Bye. 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 Bye.